How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Battle of Granicus here. We are going to be playing a little battle here with Alexander the Great, uh, and I'm just hoping that I can get through this uh, properly. So I don't actually know the history of this battle, but this is one of Alexander's uh, first stands against the Persians and really sort of stopped Persian control of Macedon whatsoever, any chance of that occurring. So we're hoping that we'll get the same victory. Uh, but we'll, of course, see what happens as we approach. So I see a lot of Persian cavalry. I'll show you guys here in a second. And I'm thinking, I'm hoping, that that per Persian cavalry is going to try to charge us because I see no point in trying to move forward with our phalanxes and, you know, attack cavalry units. We're probably going to be cut down, um, or they're just going to run away pretty much. You know, they'll just, they'll just escape. So I'm going to bring up all of these reinforcing troops. And hopefully they can make the difference here. We've got a lot of mercenaries here that are actually working for us. Interestingly enough, though, um, the uh, the Persians have a lot of Greek mercenaries working for them as well. So this is kind of almost a battle between brothers. But of course, their main battle line, their main uh, cavalry here is just standard uh, Persians, Iranian armored cavalry, etc. These are armored cavalry units, guys. I don't want to mess with them. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fire over a bit um, just to try to damage them. But I think I want to stay put and hope that they try to cross this river here. May not even be big enough to be a river. But we've got Alexander right there in front. Man, I wonder if we should just rush in and do something. I just don't think so. Let's see. So, yeah, our, our charge would be completely repulsed. I mean, maybe if we got our guys down there uh, closer to the water, would that make a difference? I still think we should just hold our ground and sort of see what happens. How's it going, Alex? Matt and Robert. Any chance of a tutorial game of Wars of Succession? We might do some Wars of Succession uh, soon, actually. I was thinking of doing some uh, Ali Akhtas soon. Um, but, yeah, we could do Wars of Succession. The thing is that most campaigns on that game last a very long time. All right, let's end the turn. Please charge, Persia. Come on. I don't see any movement going on at all. Yeah, I don't think they're going to charge. I mean, look, if they don't charge, we're not just going to give them what they want. I say we keep firing. Just keep trying to damage them at the very least. Uh, maybe try to lure a few of their units over. Let's turn this way. I was hoping that would give us a shot. Apparently not. Yeah, these are javelin men. No good, Agrippa. Let's maybe move this skirmisher unit over here and just prepare for a possible charge. And pretty much with the rest of the men, I'm just going to continue moving forward. Uh, try and get these mercenaries behind. And some of these guys are Thracians with the Rumpia. Uh, they might actually be able to catch up with some of these cavalry units. And obviously those Rumpia will cut a horse in two, no problem. Come on, boys. A lot of movement in this battle, and I don't see what we can't move as a group uh, in this fight specifically. Citizen hoplites aren't going to exactly be very useful, but at least they look kind of cool on the battlefield. The ones I really like, though, are going to be these fellows right here, the Illyrians. Got some tough-as-nails Illyrians here. And yeah, for every, anybody wondering, this is after the death of uh, King Philip. Death, quote unquote. Now, let's see. I think we'll go ahead and end it there. Come on, Persia. Do something. I mean, somebody's got to make a move, right? I'm, I just don't think we should. Because crossing that canal seems like a very bad idea. Hmm. There is one way to find out, and that's to send uh, one of these hypocists forward. Sort of see how he does. Um, but obviously this is pretty risky. Uh, you know what? I'll wait for the reinforcements to arrive so they can actually take up positions, because then I wouldn't feel too crazy in sending forward one of the, uh, the Hypostas units just to see how they would do. But I, I just can't see how, coming up from a riverbed, uh, how they could possibly do well in battle. Maybe we should take a look at our cavalry, though, and consider uh, smashing into some of the enemies over here. 
Feel free, guys, if you have any uh, suggestions, drop them in the chat. We're always willing to try new things here. With a few exceptions, of course. I'm actually going to do an about face. Actually, we might still be able to fire. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's not going to be the best shot, but we're still going to fire with the javelin men. They'll probably be run down, but it might give us an opportunity to uh, to attack some of these enemy cavalry units. Right, let's end the turn. Come on, take the bait. Take the bait. I think this is just going to be us shooting the heck out of this enemy. Let's do it, man. Keep on doing it. There we go. Another shot on the Iranian Armored Cavalry. Now we'll turn and fire with the Javelin Men. They held firm, but they're going down quick. We could even charge these guys, but that would not be a good idea. Uh, we'll move forward, turn and fire. They held firm, but once again, guys, they are starting to waver a bit. This might be a winning strategy, just pretty much holding this side of the river and uh, forcing them to charge. Because I think if, once they start realizing that we could just whittle them down like this, they're going to be absolutely forced to attack our lines. At least I hope so. We're going to probably fan out with this unit over there to the right side. With these guys, we'll fan out to the left a bit. And I'll keep a few of them in just as reserves, pretty much uh, to just get behind the Hypostes. The Hypostes? Are they Hypostes? Hypospists? I've never heard of this. Uh, and try and provide some, some support here for them. There we go. Citizen Hoplite's not really going to make a difference. That being said, they're here, so let's use them. Man, Alexander's army looks quite intimidating. Then again, when we look at the Persians and their cavalry all over the damn place, it doesn't exactly look welcoming. Nathan Norman. Alexander just walked over them. Yes, exactly. He would do that. All right, let's end the turn. We might just do that. We might just go for a charge, um, but I just don't don't feel comfortable enough, especially with that river in front of us. Uh, and we've got the uphill advantage. I don't know. I just feel like we should whittle them down. Let's, let's see. Let's get a fragmentation at least. Nope. Nothing yet. Held firm there. 33. They're going to have to break eventually, man. Let's see how our cavalry would do. So once again, not very well um, in that initial charge. So I'm just going to keep things going for now. Although at this point, we could try some experiments. Sorry, guys. You're probably going to get killed here. Um, I'm going to send two of these Hypospists unit for units forward uh, to see how they do against the enemy. So we're going to put them right there, right on the river. In fact, we'll send three. So I'm really committing to this <laughs> as much as I want to. Um, I might even bring one of these general, one of these uh, cavalry units, excuse me, the Greek cavalry. I don't want to commit all along the line. I just want to do that. Hopefully this isn't a mistake, uh, but we'll soon find out. I mean, we might find out just that charging would be just a stupid idea, which it probably is because the enemy can retreat pretty quickly, but... If they attack us, maybe we can come out on top. Wow, 20 feet long spear, says Nathan, during this actual battle. Damn. Come on, boys. For Alexander and Macedon. It's really one of the battles which Alexander showed his, uh, his potential. So I hope I can live up to that. I'm not sure I can. Okay, let's end the turn. See what the Persians do. Oh, I went to the more tools. Why did I go to the tools button? Let's end the turn. There we go. Let's see if they'll charge the hoplites or any of the units here. And it looks like they're staying put, man. Fair enough. Now the pickings are getting thin. They're really losing men here. 
Disrupted. Finally, disrupted auto breaks. Yeah, they just lost way too many men. If we look there, they had 448. They're down to 149. So that was an easy break. Now let's take a look over here. So, again, the chance of a loss is, you know, higher than a chance of a win on impact. But on, on actual continuous combat, we come out on top. So the question is, will they stay or will they evade? And it looks like they're going to evade, unfortunately. Yeah, I was worried about that. And this is why we need um, our cavalry nearby, because I think only our cavalry is going to be able to run them down. Get out of here. I guess we should push forward, right, at this point? Let's do it. Don't want the general to be uh, in too much danger. We've got Parmenon, Parmenion, excuse me, um, one of Alexander's best friends. So I want to keep him safe. I really would prefer if our guys don't go down, our generals don't go down. But I don't know how long we're going to be chasing these Persians. If they're just going to keep retreating or if they're going to be forced to turn and fight. Your guess is as good as mine, folks. And yeah, we saw there that's not going to be a great charge either. So here we go. We'll end the turn. We'll see how the Persians react to this. It's good to see that their, their actual unit dispersed very quickly there. He wants no part in this fight. But it looks like they're just staying put uh, right up there on the hill. So let's keep going. Now this guy just turned away from us. This could be a chance for a flank charge. And that's exactly what we're going to do. First, I'm going to see if this guy can get to him. So we want to make use of uh, all these different positions. So we're going to flank charge with this guy. 38% chance of a win from the light javelin unit. This is just a standard light javelin unit. Uh, but he's still going to be able to get a pretty good charge there. We didn't knock him off his horse. But if we can get more of these guys to turn around like that unit did, uh, that's, that's going to be very helpful. Come on, you Persian cowards. Stand and fight. Turn around with this uh, Hippaspist's unit. We've got to watch our back because we still have enemies here. They could flank charge us, etc. I'm just going to try to sandwich in the enemy. We'll go ahead and, of course, keep on uh, whittling down their forces with just missile fire. This works out pretty well. I mean, we got rid of quite a few of their horses... Uh, this entire game, but of course, we've got a lot of work to do. Nathan Norman says they were Alexander's father's idea um, to improve the hoplites' formation after he witnessed the Athens and Sparta have a spat. Ha ha ha. We should go straight for the Persian central commander, says Alex. That's not a bad idea. I was thinking about that right here, but I'm thinking, you know, it's a big risk, man. We can charge him. As you see there, our chance of a win is at 0%. Um, however, you know, obviously if we... Maybe risk our general. We have like a 2% chance of a win. It's just not in our favor right now. Um, but I totally hear you. I was looking at that guy. I'm like, he is in the perfect position. Don't forget, though, that Alexander's right there. So we're kind of also out in the open. Um, mercenary hoplites. Do you guys say hoplites or hoplites? <laughs> chat, type in the chat one or two. One for hoplites, two for hoplites. Because I've heard people say both, but I always say hoplites. I think Hoplites might actually be the appropriate uh, pronunciation. All right, I'm just gonna—I'm not gonna attack with the cavalry. I'm just gonna push them forward here. We have the Salian cavalry, and let's bring Parmenion up as well. Okay, let's see what these Persians will do. I'm really hoping for a counterattack at some point. I want to have something to actually deal with. There we go. That's a charge. Yep, I knew they were going to go for the flank attack. It didn't work out too well, but they're trying with another group. And that time we held firm, but we took a nasty hit. This is the danger of, uh, of sort of moving past their lines. Their cavalry can just pull back. And then the cavalry here in the front can just go ahead and flank attack us. It is a problem. We just fragmented our javelins. 
let's see what we can do about this. Um, I thought we would be able to attack. I guess not. Okay. Uh, what about a charge here? So I'm hoping that they'll just break and run. That's that's my actual hope. But if I can get a flank charge, which I don't think I can, I'll go for it. Yeah, it's not going to work out all that. It's not going to work out that great. Um, but next turn, if we can hold it, we'll actually do all right. So we've held him. Not bad. And again, same here. If we can hold him till next turn, it will be fine. These are our mercenary hoplites. So let's see if we got our money's worth out of them. Move this uh, mercenary hoplite unit forward. Um, I was kind of hoping to use this cavalry unit, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Just going to move forward a bit. We'll turn. Hope the enemy doesn't attack us. Although if they do, uh, we'll be ready to flank charge them right away. So I guess the zone of control there does not work for us. That's, uh, I didn't expect that. So we'll turn towards the enemies ahead of us here. I guess we're kind of stuck in terms of uh, our spear units, our foot companions. What about a charge here? Again, yeah, not great. Beautiful. Disrupted. Unfortunately, that ability to fall back is so frustrating. It's going to give them a lot of opportunities to get away from us. Uh, but we will break away with a few of these units and hopefully try to charge into the Persian line here. So I'm going to put them to the fight. I'm almost tempted to charge, right? Get stuck in a charge. Well, now I did it. They were smart enough to run. Um, but I was going to try to get in a charge here and then just use these spearmen to just crush anybody that stayed uh, to fight our cavalry. I'm actually surprised that the AI was smart enough to get the help back. Good. Yeah, Nathan says it the, the, the I want to say the American way. Uh, let's see. There's Roma trees. Let's go. Let's just go. No, not there. There I won't charge. But I'm okay with this uh, particular situation here. And here I'm just kind of pretty much uh, daring the enemy to attack this unit. And I don't think they will. I think that would be a mistake. We could go ahead and charge with Alexander right now. Um, but yeah, not necessarily excited to put my main general on the line. Uh, we'll move the companion cavalry up here, and I'll push some of the Illyrians forward. And I'll try to get these guys into combat. But right now, they're they're fine where they are. Let's make sure we've gotten everybody forward. And again, these Rumpaya can cut a horse in two, so almost as effective, if not even maybe more effective than Spearmen here against these cavalry. If we can actually get into combat with them without them uh, running away every single time. Alright, here we go. Okay, we do have a charge, uh, and sure enough, the enemy fell back. But again, their ability to fall back is a problem. We held firm against that charge as well. And it looks like they're finally sending some of their javelineers across. They're going to be kind of frustrating, but maybe we can grab one of our cavalry units and run them down. There we go. They're making the charge. They finally decided to do it. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have those spearmen in a line like we had before. Actually, I saw Nathan just mention we should have kept those in a line. Let's see if we can still do a tremendous damage here to the guys uh, charging up this uh, this embankment. And I think we can. I think we can do a lot of damage here. Hopefully I'm right. And again, the enemy held firm. How did they held? They held firm, but they retreated. Okay. Uh, let's go. I wonder if we can still reach them. I highly doubt it. Go for the charge. Again, evasion from the enemy. So we've got to take a look at this area. This is really where the magic happens. Oh, yeah. Come on. Of course they're going to evade, but I'm hoping that I cut off the retreat to that other unit. Um, can't charge with our General Parmenion. We should be able to get this guy. He can still evade. Are you kidding me? There we go. Disrupted. Rear attack. And fragmented. That's what we're looking for, guys. Did not go so well. Charging uphill with uh, with uh, our actual um, spear units not the best idea in the world. Hmm. I 
And again, the enemy just easily falling back there. Um, so we'll push our spear units over here. Try to get near their general, of course. That's where I want to try to inflict the most damage. And let's see if we can charge downhill with our Rompaya. Sure enough, the enemy's going to retreat, but they caught up with them, and I think it might be because of the river. They didn't get a full impact, though. They did a little bit of damage. That's about it. Okay, here we go. Again, evasion on the enemy's side. <laughs> this is just the Persian way, is to retreat whenever possible. And thankfully, we've got these two Iranian armored cavalry units that are really nicely uh, surrounded by our, our cavs. So I'm hoping this will be the breakthrough we're waiting for. I'm even tempted to move forward with Parmenian. I think I will. Let's push forward with Parmenian. Not all the way, of course. Alexander would be pretty upset to be see his friend go down anyway. I just want him to stick around for the fight. I think he took the bait. But again, the fallback is frustrating. And we could try to get into a fight with Arsenis. But again, he is a dangerous character. He really is. Um, yeah, here we would definitely lose. What about charging one of these other units here? Try to get Arsenes um, away from his men. That's that's actually my goal here. So try to force these guys back and then push forward there where, where he is. And of course, we'll keep on hitting this guy with missile units and see if we can't eventually break him. Turn and fire. going to put this uh, particular companion cavalry in front of Alexander. Just be safe. Hey, Richard. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, this is a fun one, man. Robert Roberts says, I think Alexander liked it when his friends go down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that could have so many different meanings. I don't even want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Let's keep on moving. Uh, you know, the Greeks and the Macedonians were pretty uh, open about that sort of thing, I guess. A little uh, different. Different, quote, unquote. <laughs> Do a charge here. No, I don't think so. So we'll stop. Yeah, let's end the turn. Come on, Persia. Fall upon my blade. Here we go. Held firm. And again, charging, getting crushed, but still managing to retreat. Now, this is where we got to get some breaks. These other units. And it looks like their cavalry are actually, are actually uh, turning towards our hoplites. They might be prepared to stand against us. Because at this point, as you can see, we're kind of closing them all in. Um, they eventually are going to have nowhere left to run, and I'm hoping that's where we will win the battle here. There we go. They're getting desperate, charging across with no care for themselves. Hold on, boys. Now, that charge actually went quite well for them, but that was one of many. Yeah, that's not good on the left side. We'll have to do something about that. Or maybe we could just turn their entire right side, or I guess their left, our right, um, before that becomes a problem. We'll have to wait and see. Come on, you can do better than that, men. I'm kind of annoyed at our guys. They could have done a lot better than that. And what about a charge here? Actually, this looks quite successful. But, of course, they're going to run away. Uh, so let's see if with uh, just the men we have here now, we can break them. And if not, we'll send in another unit. Wow, that is quite shocking. Here we go with the Thessalians. 
and still we haven't broken the enemy. Uh, yeah, I think we almost might want to send in Parmenian right now. Um, I will charge to try to hold this guy here. And, of course, he's going to fall back. And, actually, I will charge with Parmenian over here. Come on. East, even Parmenian can't break the enemy here. Incredible. Napoleon Complex says, I think you've got this. Yeah, I was, I was checking that out, Nathan. It looks like that, man. That left is looking quite... Um, quite frightening so I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I can to just kind of stay away from that area sort of cut it off almost can't believe they actually stuck around for that hmm wondering about charging this fellow here if we can stay in the fight, we'll actually do better next turn, but it looks like he's going to retreat. Uh, we'll still move the Greek cavalry up, but I'll prepare to uh, turn and attack if I need to. Here we go. Let's get the companion cavalry. 48. Disruption already amongst the enemy lines. And we cut them down with the rest of the companion cavalry. They're holding firm for now, but I don't think that's going to continue. And this is where we could actually attack um, Arsamis, the real main general here for the Persian side. But could hurt our companion cavalry in the process. I'm not sure that's worth it, because technically we wouldn't win that fight. But maybe we need to try to keep him here. I don't know. Get these guys back. Just trying to hold my position here on the river. It was a nice position to start with. Now we've kind of jumbled things up. Here's what I'll do. I don't think there's any point in charging these guys just because uh, they're just going to retreat for the most part. But keeping some of them away from the rest of our army might be a good idea. Even if we are charging uphill, we can handle this. Yeah, we're going to go for um, Arsenis. Again, if we can hold him here, but no, we're not going to hold him here. He's, of course, going to uh, fall back. We could have held him there. That would have worked out quite well. We'll keep pushing forward. Got all these uh, civilian and citizen hoplites that are questionable in terms of what I can really do with them. Except be like placeholders. That makes sense, Napoleon, about the uh, instant fragmentation breaks. Yeah, I think, like, if um, if there's nobody around the actual unit that breaks, then there's not going to be a check. If they're, like, near him, like, this one might get a check. Um, I hope so. Well, we'll see in any case. Here we go, my friends. The battle is definitely uh, at its height. This is the height of the battle. You know, we're, we're all here. Looks like one of their units actually rallied there. That's not good. Especially not that close to the front. I'm not liking the chances for our Illyrians there on the left. They're they're going to get crushed. If we can hold firm, this might actually come out okay for us. If we can get some flank charges. That's really the, the main uh, question is, can we get those flank charges? And I think that will decide the battle here. It's been surprisingly long. I didn't expect this battle to last like this. But it's still going. And once again, there they actually did better than us, which is amazing uh, in this fight. But this guy finally broke, so let's see if he gets a morale check. Yes, he did get a morale check and fragmented, but it's not enough. We need more, guys. We need a lot more than that. 
There we go. We broke. We broke them. We're behind their general now, but we're, of course, in a pretty much a frenzy. A few morale checks there for those units, too, but not enough to break them. What about if we do this? They can't retreat, as far as I can tell. And we charge real Matris. This is one of their other generals. He managed to escape that unit. If only we had another unit right there. We could have absolutely destroyed him. Okay, maybe we don't do that with the Rumpia again. <laughs> uh, with the Greek Cavalry, let's take a look here. So initial impact would not be successful. But I think given time, the impact would be very successful. Let's see in turn two. Pretty, pretty... Not very impressive. Uh, so we'll charge these guys. Now we've got three units uh, damaging this unit. So, again, you don't only have to take out a unit with morale checks. You can also take them out if they get below a certain number of men. Uh, they had 462. They're down to 374. They will be forced to retreat. Now, this is what I'm concerned about is these guys right here. We've got enemy cavalry all over the place. Um, but can we make this work in our favor? Because we've got one of their commanders right there, their commander-in-chief, in fact. Can we attack this guy and draw blood? I don't know. What I'm going to try to do first is break this unit. And I think that'll kind of open up a few other uh, choices. So, no, we didn't break him. I'm going to charge him. There we go. It's going to be a break. They're going to have to disperse. I think so, at least. What if we charge through? That would also disperse them, wouldn't it? Um, or should we attack these guys? I'm going to attack these guys. Because next turn, if we can hold, we're actually going to do better. So we fought some of them off. Again, not that big of a deal, though. Yeah, this would be a big deal. So we've locked Arsimis into combat. I know this is dangerous, but at this point, I am putting it all on the line to take out that general. You guys see what's going on here? You see what uh, Agrippa's trying to do? I don't know if it's going to work. Because they've got other cavalry here. But I've got a little idea. An idea. Here we go. Okay, okay. Going as planned so far. Going as planned so far, but it's quite early in the battle. Or I should say quite early in the plan, at least. No one is protecting your engaged phalanx from those cav behind them. Yeah, that is that is my concern, but I'm, what I'm hoping is that in just one turn, it's not going to be enough for them to do much. Uh, as you can see, if you look over here, there's no actual cavalry over here behind us. This is the guy we got to worry about. One guy there, and this guy, he's not going to be able to turn and attack the same turn. And nobody's going to be able to attack this unit. Um, yeah, no. So I'm, I'm hoping, pretty much, that this will just take a turn, is what I'm hoping. <laughs> Uh, and it might, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Comrade. Making a lot of noise today. Right, let's fire. And I'll also let these guys take the hit. I'd rather the javelin men take the hit than uh, them get a charge over here into Alexander. Speaking of Alexander, maybe he could face these enemies approaching over here on the left side. And we'll also, or uh, our right side, I should say, Move that cavalry up. Gonna get rid of Persian rule once and for all, folks. Just want to keep them away from the troops. Yeah, that was a mistake because we do have this unit here. And we're not going to be able to catch them. Hey, Nestor. How you doing, buddy? Alright, let's end the turn. 
This is the, these guys are definitely in trouble. They put up a pretty good defense so far, but I don't think they can hold uh, just because of loss of manpower. There we go. Enemy units dispersed in that area. Yeah, this guy's going to break, unfortunately. Our good old Illyrian with the rumpi. So let's see if they'll target Alexander. It doesn't look like they're going to. Because well, I think they know we can turn them pretty quickly here. Still got that general um, pinned down by two spear units. But he has not really been phased even a little bit by the combat. So... Hopefully next turn he will be. Now they're going to target this hoplite unit and try to break him. Get in on that left side. Yeah, he finally broke. Let's just hope there's no morale check. Oh, there is one. Which ended in a disruption. Hey, nice work, guys. Now, obviously, if we could kill the commander-in-chief of the uh, opposing army, that would be excellent. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, though. They're still passing those morale checks, the Iranian Armored Cavalry. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely charge. I was hoping we'd get a flank there, but I guess not. Now, the question is, can we charge with this general right here? And no. Damn. Well, let's go for the next best thing. And already a disruption on the enemy unit. And let's see, can we get them? Nope, they're going to try to evade. And I think we can actually catch them here with our cavalry. I love when the enemy cannot escape a cavalry charge. They actually held firm, which is crazy. But uh, I think we'll break them next turn. So now we've got to do something with these guys, but they're still in a frenzy. They still haven't had enough Iranian Iranian blood. Well, it's Iranian, but I guess uh, more appropriate during this time to call it Persian blood. All right, let's see. Can we get Arsamis? That is really the question here. And actually, we can get a flank charge here. Maybe we don't want to get Arsamis right now. Disruption. Come on, guys. Oh, man. This could go very well if it if it works out in time. Um, as for Alexander here, I'm going to let Alexander charge this guy. He's probably going to evade, uh, but we'll grab him on the disruption. We actually fragmented him which I actually wasn't expecting, um, and we're going to even try to charge here, and yes, got a flank attack with a light javelin horse. I'm thinking this guy's going to go down pretty damn soon. Can even do a nice uh, impact charge here, but they're going to probably evade. Okay, we're going to further try to cut off the enemy, guys, just trap the enemy, essentially. In fact, I might even be able to catch this guy. He cannot retreat. So this is beautiful. Once we have guys behind the lines, he can still fall back, unfortunately. But we can really start cutting them down left and right. But this guy will push here. Turn around with the Rompaya. Actually, we might not be able to because they've got a few units here. We're going to take the risk, though. Because we've got another enemy general here. And he's retreated, of course. I'm just going to keep this guy here as pretty much a, a guard against the Iranian Armored Cavalry. These Prod Moroi, there's not a lot of them, only 235, but they are an elite um, cavalry unit here. So we'll keep them here, and this guy will try to bring into the actual fight. He's not going to be able to turn. Well, he might be able to turn and charge, but I think we control the uh, zone of control. Hey, Stin, how you doing, buddy? Ah, Napoleon, interesting. The AI won't launch a flank attack if they're exposed to a flank in return. It's sort of like chess. My goodness. Then we might be okay, but uh, I was still hoping that would that turn would go even better. Yeah, I think we have to end it there.
Okay, wait a minute. Um, nah, I don't know if this is worth it. Actually, it's always worth it because we can always get a eventual flank charge on one of these enemy units if they stay in place. Stay put. Just stay right there. <laughs> Give us a turn to get our pikes ready. And now we'll end the turn. Okay, here we go. General Fallen, we got one, boys. We got one. And it is the main commander-in-chief uh, of the enemy army. So Arsenes, we have his head on a pike at this point. Uh, but the question is, can we actually still win the battle? Or uh, is that the most glory we're going to get? I think it's a decent start. So yeah, when whoever said, uh, I know somebody mentioned initially to go after Arsenes immediately. Uh, definitely had the right idea. He, he ended up being pretty squishy. Uh, not really squishy, but, you know, we, we managed to kill him in, what, three turns? It's not too bad. Three turns of combat. Now, that I don't like. I did not expect them to do that well against uh, that that cavalry unit, the Prodmoroi. Looks like they just kind of completely ran away. Here we go. This is your chance, Alexander. And there we go. We actually managed to break another unit. Uh, morale checks. Somehow they managed to uh, win that morale check. And Alexander won his fight against the enemy cavalry there on top of the hill. It's looking pretty good. Still a lot of enemies, though. Finally, disruption with that unit. Okay, guys. I mean... We did well, but, I mean, there's still so much to do. Okay, so first things first. Flank charge. Oh, I wish we could get that charge on the flank right now. It looks like we're not going to get it this turn. Definitely should have fired arrows first. I think this guy is about ready to break. Uh, we'll bring in the companion cavalry and try to help this process along a bit. There we go. Pretty good damage. Come on, boys. These Illyrians need to uh, avenge their fallen comrades. I think they're about to do that right now. Yes, beautiful auto break. Enemy held firm, man. They're passing all of their morale checks, which is annoying me to no end. Come on, give us a charge. Get us. We actually got a flank attack. Beautiful against the Iranian armed cavalry. Didn't go as well as I thought it would, but a flank attack is a flank attack. And the question is, can we charge at this guy with anything? I don't think so. If we just had one unit back here, we could have broken uh, that unit. An incredible. We caught up to one of the uh, the enemy cavalry, but. He actually managed to fight back quite a bit. So close. Come on. Let's get a flank charge with Parmenion. And I was hoping Parmenion's glory would come this turn, but it look, looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit. This guy's going to break for sure. I knew the auto break was about to happen there. Um, let's see what else we can do. Yep. Looks like a good time to get a flank attack. Looks like once their cavalry is actually engaged in combat with our hoplites, they stand no chance. Now, in terms of initial fights, they actually do a little bit better than we do. I'm going to have to turn around so I don't get uh, flanked by this enemy unit right here.
They actually stayed for the fight. Quite interesting. I thought they were going to immediately run away from that guy. Um, we'll also try to charge here. But once again, they will evade for the most part. Now, what about if they're coming up the actual um, river? Maybe this is where we can catch them. Let's see. No, once again, that evasion, man. It's so frustrating fighting cavalry just because of that reason. Now, if you guys look back here, they have a second line of uh, infantry. These are all essentially Greek mercenaries that they've brought in. And we can't stop this guy from continuing to charge. But he's eventually going to fall on that second line. And that's going to be what we have to deal with afterwards. So, again, this is a, a huge battle. Don't get me wrong. Hey, Aramon. How you doing, bud? Good to see you. Uh, that's a... Awesome questions, Jin. Um, does anyone know some historical mobile apps? I'm going to travel for quite a bit tomorrow. I don't know of any, but I'd love to know of some myself, uh, especially like geography-based ones where it's maybe they'll give you some historical information about the place you're in. That would be pretty cool if anybody can uh, shed some light. Um, yeah, we could also bring this cavalry down. Let me do that. There's just so much more of the battle left to fight, uh, I fear. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it goes here. A lot of their cavalry is going to be able to reform before the end of this fight, and uh, that is going to make things complicated for us, to say the least. Yeah, I was worried about the flank attack there. Actually worked out quite well for them. We just want to win this battle up here, and we have to reform uh, this this army um, if we want to face their mercenaries, I, I think. Unless we can completely crush them here before we even get to those mercenaries, which is what I'm really hoping for. Actually trying to get a lucky hit on Alexander there. We want to be uh, careful. The last person I can lose is Alexander himself. All right, guys. Fragmentation on another cavalry unit. They just the crazy thing is they're getting to that fragmentation point and holding firm. Looks like some of our guys are rallying, which does give me hope. Uh, our good old Illyrians are still rallying. The question is, can we knock these guys off their horse quite literally? I really want to try to destroy that cavalry unit. Looks like, wait a minute, Alexander can't get a charge? The Iranian armored cavalry has zone of control in this area. Come on. Come on. Do we turn Alexander to face them now? That's, that's a complicated situation. All right, let's charge. I think we're going to break this guy because, as you can see, with their uh, their actual... They had 452 men. They're down to 292. They can't keep this up for long. No way. Oh, come on, mercenary hoplites. Earn your damn pay. Just trying to keep the enemy from any flank attacks. And again, I'll do anything to uh, keep these guys away from the rest of our men. So I'll keep on pushing them over here to the flanks. Because we've got a lot of them trapped. And that's going to be our ticket to victory, I think, is the trapped enemies. Oh, come on, man.
see if we can get these guys away. Now, thankfully, they kind of actually ran to the left here with the enemies. So we're not going to be charging into them. But we've got to try to catch a few of these cavalry units. Hoping to force them into confrontation with one of our units. Keep this guy kind of turned to the left. But it's not easy, obviously. Man, do we send Alexander out here? I guess we do. We, we can't keep Alexander in a position where he's going to get flanked, so we'll, we'll have to move him up. But it's a uh, it's a tough position. And we'll charge in with these guys. Get a nice little hit on that enemy unit. Hopefully catch him off guard. Same with this guy. But I think they're learning to really stay away from our men. Yeah, we're going to form a square because we're, we're surrounded at this point by the enemy. I don't want to take any chances. We could even form a square with this guy as well. Nice. Got another charge, folks. Especially since this guy is not doing very well in battle. This is helpful. Question is, can we break this guy this turn? Get some morale checks. Yes, we can. But can we get the morale checks? I don't know. We definitely can't get a charge this turn, which sucks. going to turn towards this guy. I'm not going to attack. My plan is actually to get a charge. This is where our cavalry really needs to come in and help us big time. Taking on another one of their generals, but he's going to do the same thing they all do and break and run. So let's at least get this guy, the Thracians, over here. And with these Thracians, I'm just going to face that uh, cavalry unit. Just keep my eye on him. And should we move this guy up? He hasn't rallied since the beginning of the battle, but could do some uh, missile damage to the enemy. And here we go. 20% of the Persian army routed. There's still so much of it left. We need some miracles here. They actually rallied. Incredible. How do they rally after that? So we're going to have to get them um, just on numbers alone, I think. They rallied here as well. Surprising, actually, with the amount of rallies. Two rallies that we've seen. That's definitely not good for us. And a flank attack here. That is devastating. And now, if our guys can hold firm and break this unit, fine. But still devastating. They're just lasting a little too long for my, for my tastes. We really need to break this unit and get uh, morale checks on the enemy quickly. And we can counter charge with the companion cavalry we have here. But uh, they definitely know what they're doing. There we go. Nice disruption. Unfortunately, they stuck around. But still, it's the idea that matters, right? It's the thought that counts. There we go. We got a break. A disruption. Nice. Not bad. And now 22% for Persia. Let's see what we can do here. Um, so we really want to get a charge on this guy. He's disrupted. We can do it. Impact with the Companion Cavalry. Not that good. <laughs> Come on, Companion Cavalry. We actually managed to fragment them there. That's surprising. Um, and I'll just fire at these guys. Because they've got their backs turned. Now we've got Alexander himself right here. 
The last thing I want for him to do, though, is get into a position where he could be uh, injured. So what I'm going to do, actually, is try and get him to flank these guys. Can we do it? Well, we'll see. We might be able to break them, though, before um, that flank attempt... turning, inverting some of these units. And there we go. Nice disruptive attack. Rear attack, I should say. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get these guys with the Broadmoroi. They're going to get away. Just a bit too much of a difference um, in the distance there because the Broadmoroi are technically faster, but not when they're that far away. Here we go. Oh, they... Come on, cowards. These Persians are just... Come on, man. The most cowardly we've faced yet. Finally, we can turn this cavalry around. Uh, this guy is still chasing. Can you believe it? The Iranian armored cavalry. Not sure if something was said, if insults were shared, but they are just refusing to give up the fight. Wow, Napoleon, I did not know this. So Napoleon says that uh, in this particular battle, Alexander nearly got uh, actually killed by, by Persians. So this was a very close fight. Not necessarily an overwhelming uh, victory. Definitely don't want to face those uh, Persians alone. The, the, the Greek mercenaries, actually. So that's another reason I'm, I'm careful here in, in going too far forward. 15, come on. Got a fragmentation. Beautiful. We should be able to get a charge here. Flank charge. We broke them, and we're continuing the attack with Parmenion. That's what I was hoping for. Now, incredibly, they held firm, but that's the idea, guys, is just to keep on smashing them as they're stuck here in the fight. He's going to have to run. Did not mean to fall back. I was trying to turn. <laughs> Bit late for that. And I think we can get a charge with a Thracian unit that is actually kind of uh, sort of uh, fragmenting right now. If we can do well against that guy, then that's going to be great. Oh, can't even charge. Man, that's bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, I actually am going to fall back here. I'm okay with disruption because we would have been smashed there. And again, I'm hoping to finish the battle off before I have to do anything to the infantry. I'm just hoping I can win this fight by crushing the cavalry here, and I think I think we can do that. I don't think we're going to have to do much, uh, much combat with their infantry units. If everything goes as planned, of course. They're still getting these pretty nice flank attacks here. Uh, they still got plenty of cavalry on the board. And, of course, it's a large map, so they could rally. You know, we can make them run, and then two, three turns, they're not off the map. Suddenly, they rally. Uh, we've been chasing one of their units for quite a while already. I think four turns, so anything is possible. It's not good. They might have just gotten themselves unwittingly stuck in a trap. <laughs> that might actually work out in our favor, guys. We move this guy forward and charge with this guy. There we go. We broke another one of their units. Unit fragmented. They've fallen back. If we can get one hit on them, I'm sure they're going to break. How about this unit? There we go. Fragmentation. They're finally breaking now that we've got this guy charging their flank. Alexander's good old friend Parmenian. Didn't he die of a fever? I think just like Alexander, he may have died of a fever. Well, that's disputed. I mean, what do you guys think? Some people think he was assassinated, etc., no, I think it was probably natural causes. 
Not the most medically advanced age. Um, hmm. Wonder if we could just break him with a volley of arrows or volley of javelins, rather. Nope. And it looks like this guy actually has a uh, little bit of the zone of control. So we're going to have to deal with him first. Oh, we could have charged. Damn it. Shame. Okay, what do I want to do with Alexander? Yeah, we'll just get prepared to charge next turn. So I think, I thought this guy was caught, but not really. Um, although we might still be able to catch him. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love these citizen hoplites. They know what they're doing here. Uh, unfortunately, we can't catch him with that cavalry unit. I thought we were going to be able to chase him down. But since we're turned away, that's not going to happen. What we will do is face him. And let's see if we can go ahead and break this unit right now. Yep. Keep it up. Oh, they're going to be able to evade. I don't think Parmenion is going to be able to catch up with them. But we'll certainly charge. I'll try and catch them. I doubt we're going to be able to. I think they'll be able to get away. Hmm. This terrain is pretty terrible, as you can see. Our guys can, can't move too much. They certainly can't attack here. We're going to have to make the best use of it. Wait a minute, where's that, where's that cavalry unit? He finally stopped chasing. He finally stopped chasing. Unbelievable, man. I can't believe that. Alright, we're gonna turn this way. Pretty much start marching forward. Uh, yeah, I think we might actually have to deal with, uh, with some of the infantry. I'm just not seeing enough of their cavalry to break uh, past 45 uh, and keep the difference and win. I could be wrong. According to Wikipedia and what I've read about, Parmenian was assassinated. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Um, wasn't he the guy that, oh, what's his name, played in that awful film? <laughs> uh, the recent Alexander film was so bad. I may, be, I may get, be getting him confused with another one of his of his buddies. I guess so maybe uh, Parmenian was the guy that was, uh, was uh, bad-mouthing him. Is there a turn limit? Um, I don't think so. I don't think there is. There's no turn limit. We're definitely not going to finish this battle today. I, I was under the impression that we are just going to fight that, but the Battle of Granicus continues. We're only through half of the battle right now. We've got a lot left to go. Um, and like I said, I think we're almost certainly going to have to face um, the uh, the enemy here, um, the enemy infantry, the, the mercenaries, the traitorous mercenaries. Mer uh, these are both Greek and Macedonian mercenaries that decided to... Uh, turn in their shields to the Persians for some gold. It's just unacceptable, but I think we're going to have to fight them. I thought we could get away with not fighting them, but uh, it just doesn't seem like that's going to be a possibility. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. As always, I hope you had fun. Um, this is Battle of Granicus Part 1. Uh, we'll try to do Part 2 sometime this week, finish it up here. But yeah, I think there's a lot more to be fought. We'll probably have to uh, reform our army that could take a couple of turns and then start approaching their front lines. Or actually, their, their secondary lines, really. Um, see if we can't completely smash their infantry. But I don't know, man. It's uh, There's a lot of Persians on the field here. Take care, my friends. And also, thank you for the cool uh, info.
I'm going to take a look at that, man. Well, you know, he did have that uh, Napoleon complex. <laughs> as you as you may know. Take care, folks.